Hi, Dennis Ray here. You can use Microsoft Office Online for free no matter what operating system you're using as long as you have an internet connection. All you have to do is sign in for access and you're ready to use it. Here is where you can find the Microsoft Office Online and what it has to offer. This is your first stop, office.com. Easy to remember, but I'll put a link in the description below. You need to create an account by hitting either this bar or this link. Do not hit this bar because that will take you to a page where you buy the premium paid versions of Office. So when you hit this bar, that will take you to this page where you can create an account. Or if you hit the other link, that will take you to this page where you can create an account. So you can use either one. And once you create an account and you sign in, that will take you to here. And this is your home page for office.com. Uh, there are these icons on the left, the icon for home. Then there are these dots, which is an app launcher, different applications that you can use and a listing of all the apps that you can open. create and you can create new documents all these applications and a list of templates my content recently opened share with me another list of applications and list of applications that are most used like Word. Let's take a look at Word. If we go up to home and I have this file which is a Word document. I'll take a look at that. Now Office Online does not have all the features that the premium versions of Office have but it does have a lot of the same features and uh, if we go over to the right side, this down arrow, and you see it does have the same ribbon that Premium Office has, and we can change that. It does have the classical ribbon, or we can change it to a single line ribbon. And uh, I think I prefer classical ribbon. And uh, we can make that automatically hide or always show like that. I think I'll put it back to always show. If I go to the top, I can hit this down arrow. And if I want to change the name of my file, I can do that right here. And if I want to see what's in OneDrive, because everything's saved in the cloud in OneDrive, and it's safe in there. I can hit this and see everything that's saved in OneDrive. I thought when I talk, I should talk with my hand so it isn't so boring. The only problem is that, the only problem is that, the only problem is that, quit it. The only problem is sometimes they have a mind of their own use her hands right now to like and subscribe okay thank you if we go down to the menu to file in it there is close home new open in info uh, open in desktop app this would be if you have the premium version installed to your computer protect document and version history share uh, Invite other people to view or edit this document and embed it into your blog or website. Save as, uh, another way of renaming the file. Download a copy, download it as a PDF file or as a ODT file, which is the format that LibreOffice or OpenOffice uses. Export 
export to a PowerPoint presentation or to Kindle, print and about. And then the rest of the menu, home and uh, I'm gonna point out just some things in this paste. To be able to paste, you need to use your control on V keys on your keyboard and paste text only, only those keys. And then insert, layout, uh, references, review, and in review there is uh, grammar and spelling. And then for editor, see this over here, this tells you how many spelling errors you may have in your document and how many grammar errors you may have. And uh, mine, well, this is a list of the different videos I've done for YouTube and some of the different titles show some of the things that it suggested on there. And that's what this score is all about over here. And that's what this is all about over here too. Then there's uh, editor settings too that you can look at. And then in view, you can change this to dark mode from light mode. And that changes everything dark, background, and the document. If you don't want the document to be dark, you can switch that with this. Or switch it back, or turn dark mode off. And then there's help. On the right side, there's comments. If you're sharing with other people, and they can make comments on this, or edit. Uh, review, viewing, sharing, or you can select sharing, copy a link, manage access. There. Very nice. Let's take a fast look at Excel. Uh, we'll go back to home. And I have an example in Excel, but in Excel, it has the same fun uh, functionality as premium versions would have. Uh, just like Word, it doesn't have all the functions that the premium version has, but it has quite a few functions. Uh, it has uh, the chart functionality. Uh, you can draw tools, page layout, formulas, Data, review, view, and very functional. And I made this spreadsheet of an inventory of have tools and months, numbers in each month, and made this chart, which worked out very well. So you can see that this could uh, work for a small business. In fact, this would work very well for uh, home use for students and, like I said, for uh, even for small businesses. We'll take a look at PowerPoint too. I'll open this up. Just happen to have a file in it. <clears throat> home. Plenty of icons there for your use. Insert. Draw. Drawing tools, design, uh, plenty of themes to use, and plenty of variants to use there. Transitions, quite a few to use there. Animations, slideshow, review, view, and help. So I made this little slideshow, and we'll take a look at that. Using Microsoft Office Online. <clears throat> Free to sign up for and use. Nothing to install. Has many of the features that the premium versions have. 
Always available with an internet connection. Files are safe in OneDrive Cloud. Can upload, download, and print files. Can create new files. Great for home use, for students, and even sp small businesses. Yeah. Very good. Back on the home page, on the right side, this is where you can upload a document from your computer. And this is uh, different views of the home page right now. It's on the list view. And if you want a different view, you can do this tile view. And also I wanted to show you in the OneDrive icon, if you hit that, uh, if you want to download one of your files, you can just go to it, right click on it, and you get this menu and you can see the different things that you can do with this menu, but you can hit this to download the file to your computer. That was Microsoft Office Online, a great way to use Microsoft Office for free. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.